Okay, in this problem, we're going to take the binomial x plus one-third, and we're going to raise it to the fourth power. And the question is, can we expand this fully? The first thing you need to remember is that x plus one-third to the fourth power is a shorthand way of saying x plus one-third times itself four times. So really what we're doing is this problem. Now normally in this problem, if you were to see this, let me zoom in a little bit. If you were to see this, and it was just the first two, then you would say, hey, that's foil. And if you were just to see the last two, you would say, hey, that's just foil. And even though it involves fractions, at least we know what we were supposed to do. Well, it turns out that a problem like this, where we have a binomial raised to the fourth power, is just foil over and over and over again. It's just a distributive problem. So what I can do then is I know that I can combine just these two. Let's say that we multiply these two first, okay? So I'm going to foil them out like such. The first terms, I have x times x, which is x squared. Outer terms, I have an x times a one-third, which gives me one-third x. Inside terms, I have one-third times an x, which gives me another one-third x. And then I have the last terms. I have one-third times one-third. If you put that in your calculator, if you're not for sure, you should get an answer of one-ninth. So really, if I can combine these, now notice that one-third x and one-third x I can combine. I can add them together. I end up with x squared plus two-thirds x plus one ninth, right? And that would be what I would get if I just had x plus one third and I did I foiled it out and only had two terms, right? Well, in this case, check it out, it turns out that I've got two more terms. And if I multiply those out, if I foil them out, guess what? You're going to get the exact same thing as you got on this side. So if I combine these, then I'm saying that these would equal then x squared plus two thirds x plus one ninth. Again, so if I want to multiply then these two terms times these two terms, which is in essence what I'm doing, right? I just group them together, two and two, instead of saying all four at once. Really what I'm saying then is I want to multiply this thing times this thing. In order to do this then, all I have to remember is I'm going to use the distributive property over and over and over again. I need to take the x squared here. I need to distribute to each term in the right side. I'm going to do the same thing with the 2 thirds x. I'm going to distribute it three times. And then I'm going to take the 1 ninth and distribute it three times. So what I'm going to end up is three, six, nine terms that I'm going to have in the end that I'm going to add together. So let's start. Here we go. x squared times x squared gives me x to the fourth x squared plus two-thirds of x, or excuse me, x squared times two-thirds x gives me two-thirds, and then x squared times x gives me x cubed. x squared times one-ninth gives me one-ninth x squared. So done with the x squared. I've already, I've distributed it three times. Now I need to do the same thing with the two-thirds x. Two-thirds x times x squared gives me two-thirds x cubed. 2 thirds x times 2 thirds x gives me 2 thirds times 2 thirds would be, and if you do this in your calculator, 2 thirds times 2 thirds, 4 ninths. 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9. And then I have x times x, which gives me x squared. Now I have the 2 thirds x times 1 ninth. That's 2 times 1, that's 2 over 27. 9 times 3 is 27. 2 27. So now I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm done with the first two. I need to get my last three by distributing the 1 ninth. 1 ninth times x squared gives me 1 ninth x squared. 1 ninth times 2 thirds x would give me 2 over 27 x. And 1 ninth times 1 ninth is 1 over 9 times 9, which is 81. Now this looks terrible. And I understand if it's a little daunting. Let me zoom out. You got it all in there, kind of. I understand that this looks terrible. And that you're like thinking, oh man, why would I ever want to do this? But the 
Unfortunately, there is a shortcut. It's Pascal's triangle. You can go look it up if you want to. P-A-S-C-A-L. But this is really the most surefire way of doing this problem. And don't be scared of fractions. If you start with fractions, chances are you're going to end with fractions too. Let's go through and let's combine like terms. I'm going to look for everything that has x to the fourth power. And I only see one. I see it right here. Okay. So I know that I'm just going to drop that down. That's x to the fourth power. I know here that I have an x cubed. Here I have another x cubed. And that's it. So if I take 2 thirds x cubed and 2 thirds x cubed, and I put them together, that gives me 4 thirds x cubed. 2 thirds plus 2 thirds gives me 4 thirds. And I can write it like this if I want to and just leave it. So I've got this one done. I've got these two done. I'm going to go ahead and cross them off or check them off or do something so you know you've taken care of them. Now I'm going to look for the x squared. I have 1 ninth. I have another 4 ninth. That gives me 5 ninths total. And then I have one more. So that gives me 6 ninths. And 6 ninths reduces to 2 thirds, which means I have then 2 thirds x squared. That takes care of this x squared, this x squared, and this x squared. Next, I'm going to go down to the x's. And I notice here, I've only got three terms left. These two have an x. 2 27ths plus 2 27ths is 4 27ths. x. So I've gotten rid of those two. 4 27ths is not reduced. And then the last thing I have is the 1 over 81. That's the only thing that does not have the x. So it turns out then, I look through here, I have x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, x, and I have nothing at all. That means I can't combine these any further. There are no more like terms, which means this is my final answer. What we're really saying then is that x plus one-third to the fourth power, this is the same thing as this long expression at the bottom. And that's how you would expand a, a binomial, not only with a fraction in it, but to the fourth power, so even greater than three.